Hello, my name is Nathaniel Dodds and I run the Covenanter monthly pamphlet program over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. You can head over there and subscribe for just $10 a month or you can pick up any of the older pamphlets for $12 each. This month, April of 2015, we have the Doctrine of the Atonement by Alexander MacLeod. To give you an idea of what can be found within this pamphlet, I'm going to read an excerpt here from the back of the book. In the early part of the 19th century, the Reformed churches were greatly troubled over the matter of Hopkinsianism. It was a theological system which arose out of a certain speculative notions found in the writings of Jonathan Edwards and systematized by Samuel Hopkins, hence its name. Besides tampering with and modifying many views of the traditional New England Puritans, it became involved in a lengthy debate over the nature and extent of the atonement. As to the nature of the atonement, Hopkinsianism asserted that the atonement was a manifestation of the God's righteous indignation against sin, but not a satisfaction for sin. In other words, they denied that Christ suffered the penalty for the law for sinners, instead that he only showed men that God was highly displeased with sin, that is, governmental theory of the atonement. Once the penal substitution of the atonement is denied, it followed that the atonement, having no relation to the actual sins of actual men, was unlimited or universal in its scope. It was a double blow to Reformed Orthodoxy, and it was highly controverted at the beginning of the 19th century by the Orthodox and conservative elements in the Presbyterian and Reformed churches. The Doctrine of the Atonement originally appeared in John M. Mason's The Christian's Magazine in 1810. It was published anonymously, but it represents the keen interest early American Reformed Presbyterians took in theological controversies in North America. Alexander MacLeod had already written a small treatise on the mediatorial reign of Christ, Messiah, Governor of the Nations of the Earth, in 1803, and the major portion of the official RP document Reformation Principles exhibited in 1806 and 1807. He was well known in the RP Church, but his fame and reputation began to widen with his publication of The Ecclesiastical Catechism, a small work on church government, in 1806. It had received a mixed review in Mason's periodical. However, in this piece, MacLeod aligns the Covenanters with the historic reform position on the Atonement. MacLeod sets forth the case that the atonement was offered as a penal satisfaction for sins and that the extent of that atonement is limited or particular, terminating upon the people of God. To this has been added an excellent essay by Westminster divine George Gillespie, which deals more rigorously with the issue of the extent of Christ's atonement. So that's it. The Doctrine of the Atonement by Alexander MacLeod. You can check it out and other pamphlets over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. Thank you very much.